Good afternoon, Liquid State fans. I'm down here in JBR today to introduce you to the next of our bartender profiles. This gentleman has been in Dubai for four years and is currently the bar manager here at the main Oyster Bar and Grill. So without further ado, I'd like to introduce you to Ivan. Hello, people. Uh, my name is Ivan. Uh, I'm 31 years old. I'm from Russia. Nowadays, I'm doing a uh, work of a bar manager in the main Oyster Bar and Grill. It's been 12 years since I started to do my bartending job, and it's about three and a half years in Dubai. So, my first job was pretty uh, boring to get it, because I was a student uh, and I was need some money for uh, some pocket money. The first job I get was a job of uh, a waiter, but I did it only for one day. I was The next day I came to work, the bar guys asked me if I want to join their team. And I said, yes, of course, why not? So my first job experience in Dubai was a Koya restaurant. I've been lucky enough to be invited there as a senior bartender. There I spent like uh, two and a half years working for that company. Then I moved to position of head bartender in Chess Charles, which is a restaurant in, in Dubai Design District. And after that, after a half year I spent there, I'm, I'm here in, um, in May. My, my favorite cocktail, I would mention two drinks, which are Corpse Reviver number two and a Daiquiri. Because uh, after this whole years working behind the bar, after, after this all uh, the tasting you did, when you just want to enjoy the drink, you need sharp and easy drink. So my least favorite cocktail, I would call for Gimlet, but the one which is made with the lime cordial since there is no sour part it, for me it's too sweet i can't really enjoy it so my favorite bars are the bars where you come alone but you don't feel alone and you basically you feel like home away from home so if i would choose for uh, dubai it will be Hendrix bar and from my last experience uh, international bars like my last visit on Singapore and the bar which really impressed me was a junior pocket bar. My spirits of choice there are two spirits which I will choose it will be gin for its elegance and complex and mezcal for its uh, punchiness and uh, soul. The spirits which I'm not really enjoying is our rakia, any kind of uh, slivovica or uh, you know these the spirits which are home production but eventually become uh, came on a big market. So the mostly for my inspiration I take from uh, traveling definitely uh, from the from the things you see there like from nature from. Uh, restaurants from the bars from but also you can take it from anywhere from from the glass you see from perfume smell from, from anything, anything the people who are really inspire me like from the bar industry is uh, it's definitely Salvatore Calabrese is definitely Peter Dorelli but also I really love the guys Alexino and Simone and I would call for one of my mentors, which I could call him my mentor and uh, gave me a lot of knowledge, Kirill Ronko. So for my career lows, I would call for the time when I was when I moved to the Moscow and after four years which I spent working as bartender, I was need to go back to the roots and uh, start to work the job as a bar back because it was completely different open the cocktail bar neither than the club. For the highs, I would say when I step into the job of a bar manager, it's not the end, but that's where I see I start to move up. I would say you, the, you need to learn how to love your job, like any day, you're tired or uh, you know, hangover, whatever. 
uh, learn the things as much as possible. There is no, there is no like end in that. Learn your guests and leave your ego at the door because it's not gonna get you. Anymore. I'm a very simple guy in the making of the cocktails and uh, creating the recipes, uh, and I will describe it as a contemporary classic with the modern ingredients, modern spirits. You basically take a classic formula and refine it for uh, with the new ingredients. So Dubai scene, Dubai bar scene for me is, is still very uh, harsh and. Uh, pretentious but we're getting there with like we are stepping into the time where uh, the service starts to be more uh, friendly and comparing with the international bar scene we, we still don't have this small bars with the, like 20 people inside coming for drinks coming for the talks but we're getting there I'm sure that we're getting there Yeah, for the last years, I see a lot of uh, people like uh, focusing on the drinks more than on the guests. But we should go back to the roots. Like when uh, you, you you put a uh, guest in the first place, and you make them for him. And if you're really like uh, will, will be into that, your drinks will be good for sure. I wouldn't say so. Actually, there are different places where bartenders need to perform differently and the guests are uh, expecting different different type, uh, kind of service. I would describe a good bar team as like a, like a clock mechanism where it's this uh, big and small wheels which are moving each other and uh, like, let's say big wheel is moving three different one and then the small one can move on the one single mechanism but if one stuck everything will start. So every single bar member, bar member of the team is important. They should respect each other, help each other, so basically move each other uh, forward. The person who is uh, like leading the bar should inspire people to follow his dreams or his like targets. So and uh, put all the team together to follow one dream, which so for the competition trends, guys, please stop doing the treasure chests. It's done. I'll ask. <laughs> so trend-wise, uh, it's, it's hard, hard to say because different different parts of the world taking its own trend. I see big trend on Metzcal nowadays. Metzcal, Agave Spirits, Brasilia, Bacanora, whatever is that. Uh, but this trend is only for one year and, uh, and it comes, it goes together with the gin trend as well. But just different bars doing different things. So I like the trend of sustainability. I just want to make this less expensive to do, you know, like, uh, because uh, let's say to change now uh, the plastic straws for paper straws will cost you quite a lot of money. Not, not every venue will go for it. Being bartender, you're facing uh, hard times for, like, in terms of long hours. Uh, then to get yourself into position of bartender, you're going through a lot of shit. But that's it. The, the rest for me, like, uh, I love my job. If you love your job, the, the long hours are not a problem. You you find the, you find the good things in that as well. So the things that I wish I like is. Uh, I like to talk to the people, <laughs> and this is the best, the best uh, scene when you can do it. Now, being a bar manager, I need to develop a lot of things, which are working with the drinks, which are working with the new spirits, and that's very interesting part. And it's fun. I mean, it's always fun. So, guys, uh, I'm Ivan. That was my bartender profile. I'm looking forward to see yours. For more, follow the Liquid State on Facebook or on uh, the liquidstate.co.uk.